are the four most dangerous words for property investors. This time it's different. I hear these words all the time. Every year there's a whole new generation of property investors entering the market and every generation that enters the market for the first time, they believe the market's changed, they believe there's suburbs that are going to boom, all these different opportunities to make wealth very quickly. And every year we see people getting completely wiped out. The way it's structured is very good, so you get the, um, the information very um, succinctly in day one and then you go and see it in, in actions. One of the things that, and this is the reason why I actually run these workshops, is I want to empower people and give them the knowledge of what questions to ask experts and those questions ultimately determine the amount of money that you're going to make. Is the main difference between successful property investors and unsuccessful property investors, and I mean property investors who've got 10, 15 properties, the difference is that the successful ones have learned over time to ask better value questions. It was extremely informative. I thought everything that Conrad said was um, helpful because it's something that they don't usually teach in a seminar and it was enlightening for you to have your uh, mentality shift towards um, understanding finance and structure. So to me it was completely invaluable. I want to show you how sophisticated investors utilize structure and leverage to attain financial freedom, you know, to get money passively out of their property portfolio. Location, location, location does not determine property price and capital growth appreciation. That's what agents tell you when they want to sell you a property. What determines capital growth is scarcity and demand. And demand by income, demographics with high income. People who are willing to pay above market for a product that's scarce. Having just one or two or three investment properties paid off, having those properties, having that asset base behind you could make a massive difference. You know, just having $1,500 a week coming in passively from your rentals of your, of your three properties of $500 a week each could mean a massive difference in life. Would you agree? It's really good to see so many positive people who want to get ahead and want to learn about property because it is a great vehicle to build personal wealth and to grow your portfolio. My, my goal, and you can tell me if I've achieved that goal on Sunday, is to challenge your current beliefs about money ownership and leverage. One of the most important things that, I'll, that we'll cover over the next two days is how to develop a plan. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. It's very difficult to build a large property portfolio if you don't understand your exact outcome. And I'll show you how to, how to arrive at an exact outcome and then how to work back and relate that back to property acquisition. So I'm gonna give you a really good blueprint of how to eliminate 95% of the property market. Majority of the best stock never ends up on the market. It never ends up on realestate.com. People think that if they get an alert on realestate.com, they're gonna get the best deals. Let me tell you, as an agent, most deals that are the best get sold completely off market. I felt that uh, they probably had some opportunities that uh, maybe some other agencies haven't got. Um, off the market type uh, properties and, and um, also uh, boutique type developments. And I felt that uh, they have a very honest approach to um, the way they offer their services. So today is all about property due diligence and research. Today will be all about um, driving around looking at some projects. We're going to see a variety of different projects, both completed and off the plan. The integrity and the, the depth of knowledge and experience that Conrad uh, brings to it has been fantastic. I'd say uh, freely and openly. You're going to learn a lot uh, by coming here. One of the problems that I see every day that people come to me with investments they've bought without doing much due, due diligence and without doing the homework beforehand and uh, you know quite often have bought properties where they're either way overpaid or they've bought properties that are very hard to rent out. So it's really important that you do your homework and you'll find that you'll then be able to buy quality properties and have a really good run with tenants as well because there's nothing worse than buying an investment property and finding that it's empty for a long time or you've got uh, delinquent tenants etc. It's really important that uh, you start off well. So we'll talk about a whole lot of different properties we're going to go and view throughout the morning, the, the pluses and minuses, uh, the availability of tenants for those properties and just how the market works with the, the general property in Melbourne as we go through different suburbs. So it'll be a great journey. He was extremely 
well put together. It was um, it, it was obvious that um, that uh, Conrad was um, very you know well versed in what he was doing. He, he, you can tell it was this wasn't his first time. <laughs> yeah, I just want to say a big thank you, and I would really recommend um, anyone to come and do this course because it's fantastic, really, really enlightening and educated. Some of the suburbs we'll be going to today, um, it's ex like St Kilda for example, it is extremely difficult to build anything in St Kilda. Um, you've got massive objection groups and, and zoning restrictions and density restrictions on the suburb, which is, which is one of the essential things you look for as an investor. The harder it is to develop in the suburb, the less stock is likely to come onto the market, the more capital growth you're going to get. The information very um, succinctly in day one, and then you go and see it in, in action. So, um, and I think that's an important thing. People like to see, you know, real estate is at times an emotional thing, but it's tangible. Really, it's, essentially it's really basic. It's identifying what people want in an area and just give it to them. To develop um, property wealth, um, to have passive income and security for the future. So I'm definitely on the track to trying to do, not trying to do um, at least 10 properties in 10 years to achieve that goal. So, and I believe through the knowledge that I've learned from Conrad so far and being able to have access to his network of people that I'm going to get there pretty quick. So it's exciting.